Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica. It's been a little bit of a while since the last episode, but that's just because I had some time off and, you know, got busy, rah, rah, rah. And that's how it goes, unfortunately. We don't always get to do what we want. But having said that, I'm back. I'm recording a couple more episodes, so let's do this. I actually made something of a to-do list. Now that we've been to those islands, we've got ourselves this room ready to go. We've got this bioreactor here making some funky power. We've got our fish tank with some lovely fish. We've got an inventory full of water bottles. We've got a whole bunch of new blueprints to play with. And yeah, so what are we going to do now? Because basically this game, you can go looking for things like this, which we will do. But, I don't know, the way I like to approach this game is just kind of without a goal. Like, I'm not trying to find the end if there is one. Or explore everything, because that's scary. <laughs> but I made myself a little checklist, so let's go through it now. I want to get a moon pool. Because the moon pool is the bit of your base where you can upgrade your Seamoth... And that sort of thing. Secondary to that, upgrade the Seamoth. <laughs> oh, and most of the moon pool fragments are in the Grand Reef. I did a little searching around. And down south of the whole map, there's... Near that second island that we went to, basically underneath there, there's a really, really deep uh, biome where apparently the moon pool fragments show up. So we'll have to go there sometime. So that's going to be a challenge. I want to er explore the Aurora... Now that it's exploded, there's lots of scrap and blown up stuff and all that kind of thing. And I remember back in the day, you could go to the power core and unlock a few things or at least get a few blueprints or something like that. Perhaps it's changed in this full version, but back then that's what it, you could do. So we'll give that a go. I want to explore that anyway, because that's a good kind of area to have a little poke around. And there's some big nasties that show up fr from time to time around there. Eventually, we need to build a Cyclops, because that will be the ultimate. And Cyclops actually might be more more doable than you might think to begin with, but I think not only do you need the blueprints for every little component of it, you also need a whole bunch of resources to make it and all that kind of thing. So that's kind of a very... To me, that's almost like the, the end game goal for me, is like if you make a Cyclops, you're pretty much set. Because it's a massive submarine, you can park your Seamoth in it, and you can go cruising around dangerous terrain without fear of the big bads. Or at least not too much fear, because you're somewhat protected. Whereas in the Seamoth, you can still get owned. Additionally to that, a secondary base needs to be built. Because we want to get into the really deep stuff. So we need to build a secondary base somewhere really deep. For that purpose, so that we've got somewhere to go back to and not have to go all the way back up to the surface. So we can head down, 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 you know, hundreds and hundreds of meters deep and really have a look around at the real scary shit. So that's that. <laughs> the other thing as well is to make a bunch of stuff that we have blueprints for, like the stasis rifle, that sort of stuff, just to see what it's like and have a play with it. Um, and there's probably other stuff that I'm forgetting, but for now, that's the to-do list. And we won't get to it all right now in this episode, so stiff nipples. One thing I did notice though when I lo when I loaded this back up was that there was a a radio message waiting for us back at the pod. So let's go check that out. It might reveal another life pod or something. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod Ooh. 13. Yaki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, that's 19. Where's 13? Oh, Ooh, it's quite, quite close, actually. Let's jump down here. Where are you? Oh, no. Wait. Oh, it's 175 meters deep, so it's not very deep, but it's 900 meters away, so it's almost a kilometer away. 
Gotcha. Okay, well that's cool. Uh, one thing I do also want to do is check is use the scanning room a bit more to do stuff. So at the moment we're just going to sort out a couple of blueprints and that Welcome sort of thing. Aboard, Captain. Because if we look at them, start at the top, what, what have we got that we can make that we should perhaps try and make? At least for the foreseeable future. Uh, okay, so if I make bleach I can make disinfected water. Coral tube, salt. Oh, that might be a good use for the salt and the copper. We'll have to remember that. Obviously, we'll need more batteries eventually, so we need more copper. Yeah, easy peasy. No worries, no worries. We can do that. Okay, now we go equipment. Well, we don't... Thermometer. Hmm. HUD temperature sensor. Oh, interesting. I guess maybe you might. we might need that, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> this thing I want. Computer chip, titanium, magnetite. We need to find out where magnetite is. Laser cutter, we don't have one, but I don't know if we really need one. <laughs> Although it might be worth getting just to see what it's all about. In fact, we'll probably, yeah, we'll go for these two, because why not? We're going to get them sometime. Make some beacons, because that's always fun. Well, they're worth having when you start exploring more. Ultra glide fins. Lithium, titanium, and silicon. I think we've got some lithium somewhere. Scanner room upgrades. Oh, cool. So we can make more drones. That's cool. Range upgrade would be cool. Magnetite again. Speed upgrade would be cool. Silver, gold. Okay, so these are all things that we can aim for. What goes into computer chips? What goes into computer chips? Table coral, gold, copper. So we're going to need a lot of, yeah, a lot of resources. We're going to need gold. We're going to need copper. Coral and that we can find pretty easily. Magnetite we need. Base pieces. Observatory, most pups room. Cool. That's all fairly straightforward. Lithium, titanium, spotlight. We'll probably make one just for the hell of it. Grow beds and stuff. I don't know if we'll get into grow beds so much because... You know, it's only really if we end up making a base on land somewhere, which we could do eventually, but we might make some of these plant pots and then head back to that island and grab some plants to grow in plant pots. Or an indoor grow bed. Yeah. Wall planters would be nice, actually. Purely decorational, though. Oh. Well, screw you. These are all just dec decorational, I think. Yeah. So, the first ones we need to go for is we need to find resources for starters. And we'll try upgrading the scanner room, I think. So, we need to find some magnetite with the scanner room. And how much was it? copper? Yeah. yeah. We can figure that out. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Wow. We did pick up a lot of logs. That's right. This one. I'd almost forgotten about that. Ah. What are you? Yeah, these creepy messages we were getting about people possibly hunting us. Because they're aliens, and then that thing showed up in front of us, if you remember. And, oh, ooh la la. Anyway, let's take a little bit of a stock, because I haven't looked in here for a while. We do have some coral stuff in there. Alien containment would be nice as well, eventually, because... It would just be good to... Have a bigger fish tank, basically. <laughs> Which I think is the the go there. Okay, now. What have we got here? Wreck. Why can't I search for more than that? I thought I could search for heaps more than that. What? I don't understand. Why... 
thought, I honestly thought I could search for like shitloads more than that. Has there been an update and I don't know? Because that would suck. I thought I could definitely search for magnetite and things. What's going on? Hey? Where's our camera at? Make sure we connect here. Okay, now. The life pod there. The base. So this is only 300 meters away. Probably got dragged here by a sawtooth, if I am not mistaken. What's going on here? Oh, you're just leaving weird trails. That is weird. Hey, let me go. Ah. <laughs> let's uh let's zoom back. I mean not that we really have to or need to, but I just feel like we need to get ourselves in order a little because it's been a while and I I don't know, I wonder why I can't search for heaps of stuff. I don't know where my other camera is, it's way over there. Might still be where we left it with that wreckage stuff last time. Here we are. I wish there was a way that I could like dock it. I know that we can pick it up and put it in our ventry. But it'd be nice if we could dock it to the to this. But we'll just leave it there for now. Let's see where our other one is. Okay. <laughs> la 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 la. Drop me, please. Please drop. We're only 100 meters away, though, so. This is not exactly. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. Put me down. I'm going on a little sawtooth adventure. Look, the base is right there. <laughs> it's not, not far away. What if I... I'm pushing keys to see if I can struggle. Oh, you just went through the worst, my brother. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Hey, there we go. Okay, see you later. What are you doing so close to the base? I didn't know you guys hung out there. Alright. Let's put them both back here. Cool. Now how do I get out of here? <laughs> Escape will do. Uh, there's nothing I can turn on or anything like that, is there? Data box. It's weird that there's these ones though, like quartz and cave sulfur, but there's no other stuff. Oh no, wait, did this just get longer, this list? What the? I don't even know what's going on here. Something's changed definitely with this, how this works. So we're going to have to try and figure that out. How do I even start... Sc oh, i got to select something, don't I? Now, what... What What could it be? What? What do we need? Rex, Stalker 2, Sandstone. I think Sandstone Chunk. Because I think they often contain... Whatchamacallit? Oh, someone's taking my camera again. Both of them are gone. God damn it. <laughs> that one seems to still be there. Although, unless that's like the last... Graphic. Oh, we've got another message. Where's my camera? One over there. And then is there one over here? Yeah, cool, okay. Let's go see what this radio message is while we'll get my head straight and let that scanner run for a little bit to find out where there's more of that hopefully copper-filled sandstone. <laughs> it's confusing me a little bit here. This is LifePod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got Ooh. some big old fish in the water with us. And I don't know how long we're going to last. 
Ooh. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Ooh. Coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Uh, so they'd be over that way somewhere. That's just a bit of rock sticking out of the water, I think. But they're obviously near the aurora, floating on the surface. Said they added it to the data bank, so... Let's see. Data downloads. Codes or clues? LifePod 4. Ah. Distressing... Blah, 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 blah. 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. Whatever that means. But from that photo, looks like they're up there. We might have to go check out the Aurora in the next episode, or something like that, because there's some cool stuff. We might actually have to go check that out right now. Because I feel like I'm just faffing about here. Need to drink some water. I can't even remember how to drink anymore. It's all too much. Something to eat actually would be nice. Let's uh let's go catch some fish. I know we've got our I know we've got our tank full of fish, but ultimately I want to just leave that. Uh because they're kind of like backups. Our aquarium that has fish in it back at the base, that's just, you know, if we're really stuck and for some reason we can't get any fish anywhere, we'll go eat those fish. That's why there's like a water dude in there. Come on, come here, come here. Come on, PP. God damn it, I'm terrible at catching these things. Oh, blah. <laughs> I call them bladder fish, but I don't think they're called bladder fish, are they? What are they called? They are bladder fish, huh? Hello, correct name. Boomerang. Bit of variety on the table this evening. Cool. Totally disoriented at the moment, but that's okay. A oh, couple more bladder fish over here. Hello, I see you. I see you. Always worth grabbing them. Come here. Oh. And more of a. Ooh, hello. This is where the party is at, you guys. You tend do tend to stick together, don't you? I should have learned that ages ago. Okay, how many food fishies have we got? One, two, three, four. That'll be more than we can eat right now, so that'll do. Let's head back. Maybe when the sun comes up, we'll go check out that life pod 13 with the high priority passenger. Maybe that'll add to our our lore a bit because I'm actually quite. Actually, is that wasting? Is that wasting our batteries? Come on, man. Turn, turn your lights off. How do I? There we go. Don't waste your battery on that shit. Do I have a spare power cell? I do. Excellent. Welcome aboard, Captain. You're welcome. Aha, look at this. Fantastic. So it looks like over there is the place to go. Looks like maybe our camera is over there as well. Yeah, near there. We'll go check that out. Okay. Food me up. Or well, water me first, but then food me. Actually, I want to put another bladder fish in here because I don't think we had room last time. Yeah, we. Oh no, we've got two. Okay, that's enough. I only see one. Oh no, there's two. Okay, cool. I'd like to get another Gary fish as well in case they breed. And then we've got like loads of Garys. Like Gary, Gary, Gary. Isn't that... Isn't that, that like a Rick and Morty thing or something where it's just everyone's called Gary? Some sort of cartoon thing? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> One, two, 
do that. We'll grab some, cook up some papers. We got loads of power now. Power is not going to be a problem for the foreseeable future. Till we start manufacturing crazy things, perhaps. Okay. So that's that. That is has run out of fuel. So while we're here, I don't have my knife equipped. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just grab some scary, dark, dark, scary. Let's grab some of this stuff and just chuck it in the bio thingamajiggity. Inventory is already full. Oh, look at this base. Look at this base. How groovy. Entering the base. Right, bye reactor. Have some veggies. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Alright, cool. Um where is our scanner at? So I don't know if we should leave this running so much. Now that we kind of know it's... Okay, so it does remove the things. Okay. So I think that blue dot is the camera. So near that camera is a bunch of stuff that we should look for. I don't understand why this is not full of things. Let me know if you know because, my god, I haven't looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I needed to eat, didn't I? I cooked all that food, but I didn't eat it. Mm. Yeah, I only needed two. That's alright. Grab that. We're stocked up. Okay, so what does that mean? Now we can go have a little look-see in our sea moth at that other life pod. So even though it's far away, it's not very deep, so... You know, it might be worth checking it out. Let's do that and then we'll kind of call it a day, I think. Because the next time we'll try and do something like go look at the Aurora and find that other life pod that, that they were talking about. Oh god, I hate it when it just suddenly goes into deep water. Like, isn't that just the freakiest thing? It is to me. Oh, I hope it's not underground here. That would suck. Hey, stop like attacking my my fucking sea moss, man. But isn't that just the thing when you're like in like a little forest like this where it's all pretty shallow and then like suddenly it just opens up into open water. Like like it ain't no thing. I mean that is like this. I can feel my heart leaping into my head into my stomach oh shit I've never even seen this biome before oh maybe that is a little bit too scary it's only 300 meters away but my god well you haven't seen these enemies before or maybe we have I've definitely seen them in early access that's for sure all right well while we're here we might as well grab some resources Oxygen efficiency decreased. Hey, yo, pick it up. Don't just break it. I mean, I am... somewhat... pooing my pants. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. Picking up faint signatures of what? Vehicles? So I'm pretty deep for any like external stuff like this. Got to make it quick. I don't want a creature egg. Drop. That was a mistake. Got another radio signal. Holy cow. I, I think I've said it before, but one thing I do love about this game is the 
the sense of pacing, like, I never feel like I'm faffing about too long before the game actually gives me a bit of a nudge and goes, hey, here's something else you can look at. You know, and that's pretty cool. What is this place? Is this, like... This is all coral, so this wouldn't be, like, the mushroom joint, would it? Maybe it's, like, grassy plateau. I don't even... I don't know what all the... I've got a map with names of biomes and stuff, but... Honestly, I don't know what half the biomes are. Salt deposit, that's not exciting. Lead, hmm, that's good. Interesting, what is this? Tree mushroom. Oh, okay, so maybe this is the mushroom place. Which would be good, because I'm actually looking for... I believe the mushroom place, if this is it, has cyclops fragments. Oh god, it goes deep though, doesn't it? I like when there's dense kind of foliage though, because that kind of says to me that... Sorry, guy. <laughs> that kind of says to me that big animals are not going to be making their way through the dense foliage. If you know what I mean, because they can't really fit. So hopefully there's nothing big and scary that's going to jump out and eat us while we're cruising through this zone. Wow. Let's hope we can get through it by the end of the episode. <laughs> oh, it's so cool though. I mean, it's always a bit of a pull between being really cool and being really, really freaky. I'd love to find some fragments. Cyclops fragments would be lovely. Okay, looks like we're leaving it now. Oh no. Because if it is the, the zone that I think it is, there's nothing good surrounding it. How far away are you now? 59 meters. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, there it is. Things are, we're hitting into things, we're bumping into stuff. What the fuck? Stop bumping into me, man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's do it. What's going on here then, eh? What can we find? What can tell us about this particular wreck? Aha, uh -huh. thank you. Take that. We'll have a listen. Integrating new PDA data. Eventually. Now, is there anything nearby to scan? No. Well, nowhere near as bad as it could have been. Let's continue exploring. Okay, this seems like it's all the same spot, so that's fine. As far as biome, because I'm, I'm worried about leaving this biome. Because apparently near this biome are like big scary biomes. What do I keep hitting? Seriously. Yeah, I'm not too interested in salt. This is a pretty shitty biome, really, when you think about it. What's that other one that's under the island? Ooh, a massive salt deposit. Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to continue looking around here a little bit longer. So we might call it a day there. And hopefully we'll find some Cyclops parts in the next episode. But for now... Uh, yeah, sorry for the delay from the last one to episode to this one, but hey, that's the way it happens. We're not, you know, can't can't really promise anything. <laughs> so anyway, I'll, I'll always be back unless I say I'm not. So we'll go with that. But thanks so much for watching. We'll continue exploring this freaky new biome in the next episode, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.